Hi, I am Mark Pettit, and I am the author straighter of I Eat Poop. We're going to dig right in. I Eat Poop, a dung beetle story by Mark Pett. Tuesday began like most days. See, I'm making it. I sat down for breakfast with my parents. As usual, my baby brother was making a mess. I helped my mom make my favorite lunch, a poop sandwich with the crust cut off. And I packed up my backpack for school. At school, as I do every day, I hid my lunch under the big pebble behind the monkey bars where no one could see it. It's hard being the only dung beetle in the entire school. I can't eat lunch with the other kids. I have to sneak snacks at recess and I have to tell everyone I'm just a regular old ground beetle. It's a lot of work keeping my secret, but I just don't have a choice. Look how they treat Sammy Stinkbug. If everyone found out I eat poop, I'd be an outcast. Look at all the different bugs. Dad says I come from a long line of proud dung beetles. He says we help process waste and make the earth more inhabitable. All I know is I go through more mouthwash than any kid should. And then over here is his family album that his dad is showing him. Dudley Dung Beetle poses with his record-setting ball of dung. Great Aunt Dorothy navigates using the Milky Way. Don't get me wrong, I love poop. As dad says, it's in my genes. But I wish I were a wasp, or better yet, a dragonfly. They are by far the most popular bugs in school. That's why what happened in Mr. Longleg's class was so crazy. One of the popular bugs dropped a stack of books to surprise Ronald Roly-Poly. Ronald snapped into a ball. He rolled down the aisle right toward me. Without thinking, I jumped on top. Look at him jumping on top. I started steering him with my legs and carefully brought him to a stop. As I hopped down, the whole class cheered. You should sit with us at lunch, said Wesley Wasp. I couldn't believe it. For the first time in my life, I was going to sit with the popular bugs. When I got to the lunchroom, I didn't even care that I couldn't sit with the other bugs. I walked past Herman Housefly. As usual, he was sitting alone. Herman is the only one in school who knows my secret. We used to play together, and we loved the same snacks. For a while, we were best friends. Here they are, like, eating poop corn and drinking soda poop. as the watch the movie. As I passed him, Herman said, hey, Dougie, want to join me? I've got a poopsicle with your name on it. 
Herman, how can you eat that in front of the other bugs, I asked. They'll torture you for it. Herman chuckled. If I let those pests run my life, I'd be miserable. He's eating his pudding. I joined the popular bugs at their table and I pretended I wasn't hungry. By afternoon recess, my abdomen was really growling. I snuck away to find my lunch sack under the big pebble behind the monkey bars. As I opened the sack, I heard a voice. What's that? It was Nick Nat, the peskiest bug in school. Er, I don't know, I lied. I just found it under this pebble. The popular bugs gathered around. Open it, said Derek Dragonfly. Yeah, let's see what's in it, said Wesley Wasp. My antenna went numb as I pulled out my lunch item by item. Ew, gross, said Nick. It's a poop sandwich. And poop pudding, said Derek. And a box of poop juice, added Wesley. This is disgusting, said Nick. Who do you think it belongs to? Probably that housefly, said Wesley. He's the only one in school who eats poop. There he is, said Derek. You should go dump it on his head, said Wesley. Bugs from across the playground started swarming around us. As they urged me on, I crept up behind Herman. I felt a pounding in my thorax. I was about to humiliate my old friend. What's he gonna do? I stopped and turned around. I can't, I said. It's my lunch. The crowd gasped. Yours, said Wesley. You like poop? I do, I admitted. I love it. It's the first thing I wanna eat in the morning and the last thing I wanna eat at night. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. Then I did something I never thought I'd do. I took a bite of my sandwich in front of everyone. Look at him, shrieked Nick. He loves it. That's so gross, said Derek. But I was shocked by what happened next. A second grader praying mantis spoke up. So, my mom ate my dad. Everyone looked at each other. I have ears in my armpits, said Manuel Moth. I eat dead people, said Maud Maggot. I throw up when people touch me, said Gareth Grasshopper. I was born pregnant, said Alphonse Aphid. I breathe through my butt, said Tammy Tick. It turned out the whole school was crawling with weirdos. Here's some more. I eat dirt. I have my own brain. That's the other part of the earth. I drink blood. I'm a boy and a girl. My brother ate your brother. That's okay. I ate your sister. My mom eats her own eggs sometimes. These two are both saying, I cloned myself. I have no idea what I'm gonna be when I grow up. Even the popular bugs turned out to be weird. Here's the wasp. 
I guess I live in a house made of spit watts. The bumblebee says, I have five eyeballs. The dragonfly, I breathe through my tummy. Even the butterfly, I like taste food with my feet. The next morning, I went to school carrying my Captain Dung Beetle lunchbox. And I've eaten in the lunchroom with my friends ever since. Well, hi again. We just finished reading about Dougie and his favorite food, which I think you'll recall was a poop sandwich. Well, I thought we might finish up by making a poop sandwich of our own that we can enjoy with Dougie, what do you say? So, to do that, I have some ingredients, and you can do this at home if you feel like it. To do this, we need a couple of pieces of bread, a knife, and some Nutella, or some other brown spread that hopefully is edible. All right, let's make it. This should be good. All right, we open it up. Mmm, looks good. Getting out some of our poop. Wait. We'll spread it onto the bread. Just like that. Look how I'm doing that. Spreading that around on that bread. Just like that. All right. Got it there. Now we're going to close the bread and make a little sandwich out of it. Might even cut it in half. Oh, but let's not forget the way Dougie likes it. Remember? He likes the crust cut off. So let's do that too. We'll cut those crusts off just the way he likes it. Yeah, this is coming along. This is looking great. We're gonna cut that third crust off and we've only got one more to go, one side. We're gonna just, just like that. Look at that. And now, to look at that. We have two halves of a poop sandwich with the crust cut off. What do you think? Should we give it a try? Here it goes. Mmm. You know, I can see why he loves it so much. <laughs> 